Every year we look for a unifying theme for the Bard Music Festival, which is usually in the career of a single composer, and as a kind of vantage point uh, by which to explore a period of our cultural and musical past. This year's subject is uh, a very unusual and uh, unique figure in the history of music, Erich Wolfgang Korngold. Korngold is not an iconic figure. His name doesn't have immediate name recognition the way Beethoven or Bach or Mozart has. But he's more in the public consciousness than probably most any other composer because he was the inventor of what we now consider to be the sound of our movies. The Hollywood connection brings Korngold to the consciousness of many, many people. And we thought this will open the Bard Music Festival maybe to a, a wider public. So we will show Korngold from age 11 through the whole European period, which ends in the early 30s and mid 30s, and then the Hollywood years, and then the last phase of Korngold's life, which unlike some emigres, he yearned to go back to Vienna. Partly he had been brought up there and he fell in love with the musical idiom of the city, which was the operetta, Johann Strauss, the waltzes, the Blue Danube, Fledermaus, the Gypsy Baron, you know, all that. And there's a huge silver age of operetta, which, operas which we don't actually hear anymore. We're going to sample some of them, especially those about America. And then there is music by his American contemporaries, other emigres that came to Hollywood, by his European emigres. We're also going to do a music by the person whom he admired most as a composer, Richard Strauss. And we're going to look at music written after the war, including the four last songs of Richard Strauss. By a sort of arch rival in a different direction, Paul Hindemith, other emigre to America. And then a lot of music by um, characters, some of which, some of whom uh, people will recognize, Zimlinski, Schoenberg, Franz Schmidt, Josef Marx, contemporaries. So this is an unusual festival for Bard because we are able to connect the popular American creation of a, an image through film and music. This history that we put under glass, this storied history of the late 19th century in music, starting with the death of Wagner and Mahler and Schoenberg and Stravinsky and so towering early 20th century, some of it which came to America as emigres and how these two cultures come together. Mm -hmm.